tennis fans, it's one of the biggest nights in the calendar, the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. We've got the biggest stars in women's tennis here tonight in London. They're going to walk the purple carpet. They're going to be here signing autographs, selfies. We've got some young fans on this side. We've also got some avid tennis fans on the other side. London, who's ready to make some noise tonight at our pre-Wimbledon tennis party? Are we ready? Yeah. All right. So what's going to happen tonight is players are going to arrive on this nice purple carpet. They're going to hang out with our fan zone here, our young kids, signing autographs, some selfies. You can see all of it on social media using hashtag WTA party. We're streaming live on Twitter. Hello, world. And you also can use that hashtag on every social platform. But in just a few minutes, we're going to see these WTA stars arriving ahead of Wimbledon in just a few days. It's a beautiful evening in London, and we're ready to meet some WTA stars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Yelena Yankovic, former world number one, and Yelena. It is the 10 year anniversary of you winning mixed doubles at Wimbledon. Oh my God, it's passed this long. I mean, yes. I'm very excited to be back here in London. I love playing Wimbledon. I have great memories of, of playing here. So another, hopefully another good year. Now tell me, you always look amazing, Yelena. JJ always, always looks great. But what's in your ear? Because that's my favorite thing on your outfit. It's a Swarovski. We got it to, to wear, and it's beautiful. Well, you're rocking it. Now tell me, you're still playing. Everyone enjoys your per personality out there on the court. What are you driven by? What are you motivated by every day out on court? I just love going in front of the crowd and just performing. It's, I have the passion for this sport, so I love running after those yellow balls. All right, that is awesome. JJ, good to see you. Can you sign some autographs and maybe some selfies with these young kids? You guys got your Sharpies ready? Break them out for JJ. All right, well, JJ goes and meets some other fans just across the way. Shelby Rogers, you look great. You wore your Wimbledon purple tonight. <laughs> I know, purple's maybe not my color, but uh, you know, when in London. When in London, absolutely. Now tell me, what is special for the WTA stars? What's special for you out on those Wimbledon courts? Because we talk about it a lot, but how does it feel out there? Yeah, it feels great. I think just the history, the legacy, you know, playing on those pristine green courts, it's just something like um, you can't get anywhere else. Very good. Shelby, we wish you the best of luck, of course. Will you sign some autographs and do some selfies for these young stars? Well, I've got a special guest here, Simon Webb. Now tell me, you are a lucky man tonight. Who is your date? Uh, my date? <laughs> no, I'm here with a friend, Yelena. Um, we just met today. Um, we've got mutual friends over in Serbia. And it's just a pleasure to be here. Obviously, she's in my town, so it's an honor to actually show, show out tonight. I just meant date as in you guys are hanging out, having a yeah. good time at the Purple Carpet. Now, JJ, come here. Come here, JJ. What did she tell you about the WTA pre-Wimbledon party? Because 
It's one of the best nights in all of tennis. Well, I've, well, I don't know what to expect. And I've had these, these are the rumors that I've been hearing, but I'm sure what goes on inside stays inside. <laughs> but not JJ's dance moves, which I know you guys are going to see. In, who loves JJ dancing? Anyone? I know I do. Absolutely. Simon, have a great time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really hope that we're going to see some JJ dance moves. She's going to dance down the purple carpet. We've got more WTA stars coming in just a few minutes. Stay tuned right here on Twitter. Well, I'm very happy to be joined by a special guest tonight, Holly Branson. Obviously, your dad is a huge, huge fan of the sport, Richard Branson. Tell me about your women's tennis love, too. I absolutely love tennis. I love playing tennis, and I love watching it. Um, kind of got the bug from dad. He is obsessed. He plays about four hours a day. And I've got really into just watching it on the television and thinking that I'm really good when I get out there. You watch those four yes. hands and you're like, oh, I can do that too. And then you absolutely can't. I absolutely have done that before. Now I need to know your favorite Wimbledon moment. And if you don't have one moment, what's your favorite aspect of Wimbledon? I'm trying to remember. Who was it that ran up onto the roof after they won the... I think that was Venus Williams, I think. Yeah, okay, that's, that was my favorite moment then. Well, running onto a roof was absolutely just, just awesome. Well, let's hope for a roof stomping moment at Wimbledon this year too, right? That, that would be great. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Holly. Have a great time tonight here at the pre-Wimbledon party. Thank you very much, you too. All right, Holly Branson's heading down the purple carpet just as Alina Spitalina arrives. Alina, you look Wonderful. Now, you've had an incredible year. Four titles to your name this year. What's going on with your tennis? It's all working. Yeah, I mean, I had a um, great start of the year and then a uh, great cr clay court season. So I'm looking forward to, to playing Wimbledon. And it's the first time that I'm uh, such a high seed here. And I'm looking forward and uh, it's going to be very exciting. Now, I heard somewhere that you actually first played tennis because you wanted to beat your older brother. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, he's nine years older than me and um, always been much better than me. But then probably at the age of uh, 14, 13, I started beating him. So this was like the main motivation for me. And I was really proud of myself. So Alina, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of these kids behind me. They're going to ask you a question. But in the meantime, I want our cameraman to show off that awesome necklace that you're wearing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I like it so much. It's Swarovski, and uh, yeah, I chose this one. It's, I think it matches my dress. <laughs> Very much so. Stay tuned just a second. Who has a question for Alina? Okay, hold on. She's ready. Alina, come close. Just a second. We've got a question for you right here. Tell me your name and how old you are first. I'm Gia, and I'm 10. Okay, you ready? We're ready. How old were you when you first started? Oh, how old were you when you first started, Alina? I started at age of four. I was very little. <laughs> yeah, and um, I was, you know, trying to, to be better each day and, of course, enjoying myself playing with my friends. Very cool. Can we get an autograph right there? You want Alina Svitolina's autograph? Absolutely. Jess, can I have a tennis ball? Just a normal tennis Oh, that's a big tennis ball. Very good.
All right, before we have our next tennis star, Alina Spitalina, trade me the Sharpie, keep the ball. Now, this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna hold your purse, too. Who wants a signed Alina Spitalina tennis ball over there? Make some noise. Here she goes. All right, let's hear it, London. Oh, oh, up to the roof. It's down. Oh, who got it? Someone did. Very good, Alina, I'll trade you that back. Have a great time tonight at the pre-Wimbledon WTA party. Ladies and gentlemen, two-time Wimbledon champion, give Petra Kvitova a warm welcome to London. Let's hear it, everybody. <laughs> Petra, welcome back to tennis. I have to ask you that title in Birmingham. How did that feel? It feels great. Um, even I'm playing here. Um, it's amazing to be part of the tennis family again, to um, have great times on the courts and winning the title. Is this way I always uh, play tennis. Now, I have to say, that we want to welcome you back. Everybody in tennis wants to welcome you back. Are the nerves different? Does it feel different out on court having been away for six months? Yeah, it feels uh, differently, I have to say. It's, uh, it's kind of different nerves than I had before. I think uh, it was a tough part of my life before and uh, just now I, I see a little bit different everything um, in the life and on the tennis courts too. So I, I'm still a big fighter, which I'm really glad that I am and um, I'm just enjoying it even more. Petra, did you surprise yourself by winning in Birmingham? I mean, 20 WTA titles but, and two Wimbledon titles, but maybe this one was your most impressive. I did. Uh, definitely I did. It was a very emotional moment for me. I didn't expect to win the tournament it's some soon after my returning. And uh, um, I came back to play good tennis, and I showed that I can play well on the grass again, and I'm really looking forward to step on the on grass too uh, very soon and uh, that's what I've been trying to do. And I have to say those earrings look awesome tonight. They're sparkling like one of your titles. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now I have some young fans here. Who has a question for Petra? Anyone? Okay, Petra, come here. Just one second, okay? Tell me your name and how old you are. Giselle and I'm eight. All right, Giselle has a question for Petra. What's your favorite shot in tennis? Favorite shot? I love to serve and forehand. Serve and forehand. Petra, will you sign some autographs for these lovely future tennis stars, I think future Wimbledon stars? Alice Cornet, bonsoir, bonjour, welcome to London. Now, I just saw a video of you doing a gym workout on your Instagram. That looked really tough. 
and that's my everyday life, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, it's tough, but when, when you're a tennis player, you need to wor work hard every day, so. Now tell me what your favorite part of this Wimbledon week is, because you're actually here for a few weeks, but it's such a, such a special time of the year for the WTA players. For sure, uh, the grass court season is too short and uh, Wimbledon is coming so fast and we are all very excited to be here and to play on grass court, but it's the last grass court tournament. So I hope I'm gonna enjoy it till the end, I go as far as possible and of course this pre-Wimbledon party is part of the, you know, the magic and um, I'm really excited to be here. Now you created some magic at Wimbledon a few years ago when you stunned Serena Williams. When you're back at Wimbledon, does that kind of stuff sort of come back to m your mind or are you just not thinking about the past, you're only thinking about the present? Oh, of course, you know, you always bring the memories with you when you arrive on a tournament and uh, this was the best memories of my life for sure on the, c on the tennis court uh, when I beat Serena and uh, when, I, when I go back to Wimbledon, I always have this amazing feeling and that was a pretty cool one, you know. I, uh, it feels like it was yesterday and in the same time, a long, long time ago. Uh, but I hope that some good results are coming up for me. All right, Ale, Alice, good luck. Will you sign some autographs for these young stars here? Lots of tennis players. We've just gotten underway. There's gonna be more WTA stars here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. What a special moment to see players like Petra Kvitova on the purple carpet. Alice Cornet and lots of other stars making their way through right here in London. Donna Vekic, welcome to the WTA pre-Wimbledon party and a belated congratulations on another title for you. Thank you, I thought you were gonna say for my birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday, gosh, I'm so rude. <laughs> Thank you. Now, how good did it feel? I think you hadn't won maybe in a couple years on the WTA, so back with the trophy in your hand, how did that feel? Yeah, it felt great, especially before Wimbledon and grass, which is my favorite surface, so I'm really excited to play my first match. Yeah, so when you get back on the grass and when you have a win like that, tell me what that does for your confidence. Do you come in sort of guns blazing to Wimbledon? Yeah, obviously it's a huge confidence boost and I had a few days off after and uh, practiced well, so I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, Donna, hold on one second. I wanna ask, does someone have a question from Donna? Hand up right here, Donna, come right here. Tell me your name and how old you are. My name is Emily and I'm nine years old. Okay, nine-year-old Amelie has a question. You ready, Donna? Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. What was your favorite tournament? Ooh, favorite tournament. Answer carefully. Wow, it might sound a little bit cliche, but it was, it's Wimbledon. It's always been Wimbledon. Ah, uh, good answer. You want to get an autograph from Donna Vekic? Very good. And maybe sign a few more autographs. Donna Vekic, fresh off a title in Nottingham a couple weeks ago and coming here to Wimbledon right here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. Well, I'm here with a Chinese tennis star who almost quit tennis, Zhang Shui, and then you had that magical run last year at the Australian Open. How happy are you that you're still playing tennis? Oh, amazing. Uh, yeah, everyone know before Australia Open last year, I almost finished. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the Australia Open, um, 
yeah, for me is so important. After the tournament, I keep play and uh, um, yeah, I'm so happy to join us here. We're all happy 18 months later. Now tell me about, you look great tonight. Tell me about this necklace. Oh, that's great. Yeah, very nice. I, I like so much. And the first time come to uh, Wimbledon party. So yeah, really exciting. Okay, now we want to give away one of these big tennis balls, right Jess? Throw that over to me. All right, let's give that to you, Zhang Shui. And I've got a Sharpie right here. We're juggling, I'm gonna hold this for you. Zhang Shui looks better with this than I do. You gotta make some noise across the street. Who wants a signed tennis ball, Zhang Shui? You wanna throw that over there to them? Who wants a signed tennis ball from Zhang Shui? Come on, London, who wants it? Zhang Shui, have a great time tonight, okay? Very good, Zhang Shui, still playing tennis. Who's gonna be next out of the car? That's what I keep wondering here tonight. We've already seen Petra Kvitova, Zhang Shui just came through and more WTA stars in just a few seconds. Naomi Osaka. Naomi, do you remember when we met a couple years ago? It was Singapore, and you won the WTA Rising Stars event. How has your career changed in the last couple years? Um, well, I mean, I'm here, so yes, I mean, that's a big change. Um, yeah, and I've been able to like adjust to this lifestyle, and <laughs> um, yeah, like I guess just being at parties and stuff. Very much so. And what are expectations coming into Wimbledon for you this week? You hit a big ball, a heavy ball, and I think that might translate well to the grass. Um, well, <laughs> uh, I feel like everyone expects to do well, and certainly I do too. So I just, I don't know, this is my first time here, so I just want to have fun. All right, very cool. Now tell me, you've got some bling, you've got some bling around your neck, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, this is Swarovski. Fancy. Yeah. And do you like it? It looks great. Yeah, yeah, of course I like it. If I didn't like it, I wouldn't put it on. Ah, very good. That's my motto, too. Let's get a couple autographs from these young, young tennis players from Naomi Osaka, one of the rising stars on the WTA. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're happy to be here. All right, so tell me, you played in Mallorca a couple weeks ago. Tell me how that felt. You won a match, you lost a match, but did it feel different from, say, 10, 12 months ago? Well, in a way, yes. Um, you know, post-match was a little different. During, during the time on court, it's still the same determination, still the same focus, still the same hunger, but uh, definitely after the match was a little bit easier, you know, and um, after, the, uh, it was a great match for me. You know, I had a lot of drama in my first match, so it's good to get some of that under the belt, but I'm happy to, you know, get some matches and uh, continue to build from here. Vika, I'm looking for Leo and I don't see Leo. Where's Leo? Well, it's past best <laughs> that time. Yes, he's uh, he's about uh, you know getting his uh, getting his milk and sleeping right now. But maybe maybe soon. He's still you know six months. Still gotta sleep a lot. Yeah, those are good. I think good priorities to have. Yeah. Lastly, let me ask you about expectations going into Wimbledon. You're back after a little bit of a break. Do you go sky high or you just want to play good tennis? Well, I always uh, try to try to reach for for the stars, you know. But uh, I just want to be reasonable. I always have very high expectation on my effort, and that's the the most important for me to try to bring my best every day and continue to build. You know, I look at, I look always um, as as a long run, but definitely try to, to try to do my best. Clodo, do we have time for a question from one of these kids? Yeah, who has a question? Hold on, Vika. I'm going to find this guy. Tell me your name and how old you are. My name is Casper Williams and I'm nine. All right, Casper has a question for Vika. What's your question? 
How many hours a day do you train? Wow, that's a tough one. Um, well, during the tournament, a little bit less, but usually about three, four hours during the tournament, and when the tournament is not there, about five to six hours, yeah. Very cool. Casper, you want an autograph from Victoria Azarenka? I think she'll give you one. Vika, a couple other autographs, too. All right, tennis fans, I think we've got a couple stars. They're signing some autographs. They're about to join me. A couple stars that you're going to recognize. Madison Keys and Laura Robson. They've both got very big games, which works very well on the grass. Madison, why don't I grab you first? Oh, she's getting a selfie. Let's see that selfie. Nice little moment. Come on over, Madison Keys. Now, Laura, you want to join us too? She's busy. She's signing autographs. Now, I know that you don't love the clay, so tell me what your mind does when it's grass season. I've never been happier. <laughs> My first hit on grass, it's pretty much the best day of every season. <laughs> and Laura, come on in. Do you feel the same way about the grass season? You're also coming home to play on grass. I know, I get to stay at home, sleep in my own bed. So yeah, love and life. And tell me about the mix of maybe nerves and expectations of playing at home when you're here in the UK. I think all of the Brits really just love playing at Wimbledon and soaking up all the atmosphere. And there's definitely nerves, but you get nerves all the time and you just try and play as best you can, yeah. Now, do either of you have anything to tell me about your outfits tonight? I think you took some time to get ready, maybe a little more time than I did, but you both look great. Thank you. Um, I actually picked this dress last minute. She was more last minute than me, but um, mine is self-portrait, and I'm loving it. Very cool. I've got a Peter Pilotto on, so English designer, and I tried it on for the first time about four hours ago. So yeah, very last minute. All right, very good. Now, let's do a question for Madison and Laura together. All right, you already asked one. Who's got a question? All right, I'm coming to you. You ready? Girls, follow me real quick. Tell me your name and how old you are, okay? My name is Noah, and I'm seven years old, and I can't, and I... Go ahead, it's okay. And my name is Williams. And what's your question for them? How, how old are you? Oh, you know what? I've got to tell you, my friend, in the future, you usually don't ask a woman her age, but I think they'll answer, right? I'm 22. 23. All right, 22-year-old Madison, 23-year-old Laura. Will you give him an autograph, maybe? Yes, they will. All right, we've got more WTA stars coming through on the purple carpet. It's the pre-Wimbledon party. What a beautiful night. Are you guys having fun over on this side of the street? I can't tell. Yes? Kind of? I hope so. Should we give you more stuff? Yes? OK. We will try to do that. Some selfies, Laura and Madison, with some young fans, some future tennis players, I think. Well, some, some Wimbledon royalty making their way down the purple carpet. Philip Brook and Richard Lewis, two of the men that help run and make Wimbledon one of the best tournaments, if not the best tournament in the world, headed down the purple carpet. Chatting with Laura Robson and with Madison Keys.
Okay, my fan zone. I want to know what is zero in tennis? Who knows what zero is in tennis? Tell me. Uh oh, come on. Who can help her? What's zero in tennis? Love. Love. Love means nothing in tennis. All right, I want to know there's a guy who sits on the court and watches the matches. He's in charge. What is his name? What's his name? Ref. The ref is close enough. I'm going to give you that. He's the ch you can take that. He's the chair umpire. Madison Keys, Laura Robson are making their way down the purple carpet. Great night here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. Sloane Stevens, we're happy to see her back on tour after a little bit of an injury break. She's here at Wimbledon, signed some autographs for some future Wimbledon stars over there, I think. Who are we still hoping to see tonight? Who do we still want to see? Nice catch. Who do we still want to see tonight? No, you got to give me a name. Hold on. Uh, Simona Halep. Uh, Simona's still playing in Eastbourne, but you hoped and prayed. Who else wants to see a tennis star? You got to give me a Oh, good answer. Hold on, hold on. Muguruza. Garbine Muguruza, 2015 champion, or excuse me, Runner-up, 2016 French Open champion. Sloane Stevens making her way down. You can see her face on the big screen, talking to the world's media, getting some pictures taken. Wimbledon royalty here tonight. A couple of the guys who helped make this tournament run so well, Richard Lewis and Philip Brook. So I just asked a fan a second ago, who would you like to see walk onto the purple carpet? And you know what he said? Garbinye Muguruza. Garbinye, welcome. Hi. How are you? I, I love this outfit, very nice. Thank you. Well, it's a little bit cold, so I thought that might be good this one. Layers, layers. Now tell me, you were a finalist here, that magical run in 2015. How does it feel to be back? I think you just got here today, feel back at, in London at Wimbledon. Well, I'm always very excited to be here, especially since these memories that I have playing the final. So it's a very special tournament for me. Absolutely. Now, I need to know if one of my special kids over here, Garbinier, might have a question for you. Oh, yes. Questions? You ready for one of their questions? Yes? All right. Tell me your name and how old you are. Jada, 12. Jada's 12. And here's your question. Um, um. She's going to cheat just a little bit. That's okay. What's your favorite shot in tennis? Ah, favorite shot, Garbinier. Tough one. Oh, um, I think the serve because, uh, you know, it's the only shot you can really, really control. So I will go with that. And you have a pretty good serve. Well, I think so. I work a lot on that. So I'm, you know, getting it better and better. Very awesome. I think Jada would also like a selfie. Do you have your phone with you? Oh, we've got a selfie stick with Garbinier Muguruza 2015. Runner-up at Wimbledon, and where's my gentleman that called that out? Let's get you a Garbinier autograph, and can you tell me next week's lottery numbers too? Yes, maybe. Garbinier autograph on double. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Vamos. 
All right, we've got a couple rising stars on the WTA, CeCe Bellis and Katie Swan. Welcome to the pre wimbledon party. Now, tell me, did you guys get ready together, or was it kind of a like, what are you wearing, what am I wearing? No, we, we completely got ready together. We spent like the last two, two and a half hours maybe yeah. getting ready and just had a nice car ride, jammed a little bit, we're ready to go. Very good, what were you jamming out to? We, we did a little bit of Justin Bieber, okay. little Jason Derulo, yes. yeah, Very good. jammed out. CC, now tell me you've had a great year this year on the WTA into the top 40 at 18. What's been the difference for you in your tennis this year? Um, you know, I've just been really enjoying it, really having fun with it, and I've been working really hard. It's been going great. I'm really happy about it. Now tell me, you two are obviously, Katie, very good friends, but is it ever frenemies out on court? Do you guys ever get competitive with one another? Uh, I think we only played each other once, maybe a few years ago. Yeah. Um, we haven't seen each other a lot in the last couple of years, but it's just nice to be together here, and hopefully we'll have a good night. Yeah, and for, for you, CC, expectations for Wimbledon. Is this your first? Yeah, no, it's my first. Uh, I'm just really looking to improve, you know, this week, enjoy it, you know, not really any expectations, just have fun. All right, Katie, we've got some young British women here, maybe some future Wimbledon stars. Does someone have a question for Katie Swan? We ready? Come on over. CC, you can come too. All right, tell me your name and how old you are. Ella and I'm nine. You're nine, are you sure? You hesitated. <laughs> um, so my question is, um, how old were you when you started playing tennis? Oh, how old, Katie? And Cece, you can answer this too, okay? I was seven when I started playing. Yeah. And did you start already, Ella? I started when I was six. Oh, she beat you. Wow, you just won up Katie. That's okay. How old were you, Cece? I was seven also, actually, yeah. Very cool. Can you, we get an autograph? Yeah? You ready? Sharpie, who can share a Sharpie? Autograph time. They're going to sign some autographs and a selfie too, Jess. Cece, we've got a selfie stick here as well for some of these big tennis fans. We're rolling through. I'm still, where's my Garbinier-like future sayer? That was just very well done. Okay, CC Bellis, you know things, come on this way, you know things get very serious when I'm holding a giant <laughs> tennis ball right there. It's actually talking about the WTA finals, which you may play in one day. Now tell me about this handbag, because that's looking pretty good tonight. Yeah, it's Savorsky, it is beautiful, and um, I have some other jewelry too that I'm wearing that I'll pull out in a little bit, so yeah, I'm really excited to be wearing it. Very cool, now I'm gonna hand you that. Maybe should we trade Sharpie for Saworski? Can I? Do you yeah. trust me with that? I think do I so. look good with this? Not really. Yes. Now we've got we've got a Wilson tennis ball. So sign here. Go ahead and sign that. And then here's our challenge. Cece's gonna grab the giant Wilson tennis racket, and this side's gotta make some noise. And this side's gotta make some noise. Oh, uh, Cece, I think you got a hit to that side. You wanna grab that racket? Yeah, you can do it. You want me to hold the ball? Sure. I feel like you might stab me in the uh, feet with your heels. Okay, we ready? I'm nervous about this, are you? Okay, ready? I'm gonna bounce it and then, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't film this, right? Okay, ready? Okay. Oh, amazing, good job. Take that back. All right. Amazing, here you go, here you go. Oh, thank you. Cece Bella, she's into the top 50. She's going to walk down the purple carpet. Have a great night at the pre women party. Appreciate it. Thanks.
Okay, I need more people to tell me the future. What stars are we waiting for? Anyone? Anyone? I don't know about Venus. She might. Venus likes to be mysterious, but you can have that tennis ball. What about the world number one in doubles? Bethany Maddox Sands. I want someone to guess she's tall, she's big serving, and she's American. I see you down there. You're really far, and it will, it will hurt my shoes. Who's tall, big serving, and American? Coco Van de Wey. Coco Van de Wey. Coco is in route. Who is a diminutive Slovakian former, where was it? I heard it. You know, you already got a giant tennis ball. Come on now. Dami Sibokova, we'll go right there. Dominika, I think just a few minutes away. What about our VIPs over here? You guys having fun? Yes, kind of, good. You guys having fun? Yes, yes, maybe. Angelique Kerber, I wish she was coming. I think she's still playing in Eastbourne. But we can see her at Wimbledon, the world number one in the next couple weeks. Okay, who's a tennis player? Who actually plays tennis? Hand up. Didn't you already get a ball, sir? That's okay, you can have that too. You play tennis? What's your bash shot? Uh, back, uh, back. <laughs> oh, the backhand, very good. You got it out. Oh, you want the pink one? You can be picky, that's fine. Please do not hit me, car. Thank you very much. Who else plays tennis? You do? Do you play tennis? Some grips? Those can be stocking stuffers in December. How's that? More WTA stars arriving at the pre-Wimbledon party. Now remember on social media, you've got to use hashtag WTA party to follow all the action. And look who it is. We were just talking about her, Coco Vandaway. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Now, the first thing I'm seeing with this outfit is the necklace. That necklace is awesome. Well, not only the necklace, the other bling the that bling, I'm rocking bling, here. Bling. The ring, the bracelet, thankfully I got a nice choice and hopefully I'm rocking it well. <laughs> okay, you were killing it, I think. Now tell me, we were talking a little bit about to Madison Keys transitioning from clay to grass. I think it's probably your favorite transition of the year too, right? As soon as I can get off clay, the happier I am. I, I really enjoy grass court and hopefully it shows when I get to play Wimbledon. Now tell me, you made headlines a couple weeks ago, Coco Vandeweghe working with Pat Cash. Tell me about that decision and sort of what he brings to your game. Well, not only a Wimbledon champion mindset, but um, also just his aura in general, I think has been beneficial uh, for me and hopefully it'll be a good partnership moving forward into the US Open Series. Very, very cool. Working with a Wimbledon champion, that's pretty awesome. Now stay right there, Coco. Who's got a question for Coco Vandeweghe? Do you have one ready? Yeah? How do you feel when you play tennis? Oh, how do you feel? I love that question. Well, I feel happy most of the time when I play tennis. Sometimes I get really excited if I'm in a big crowd and a big stage, but mostly happy. Mostly happy, very cool. Get an autograph there from Coco Vandeweghe. Let's get Coco signing some tennis balls too. That is an epic selfie. Coco, I've got a few tennis balls right here. Jess is gonna grab that from you. Here you go. Some Sharpie action. How many autographs have you signed in your life? Too many to count and not enough. <laughs> and how many selfies have you taken? Myself. <laughs> 
Personally, um, probably 30% of my phone is filled with selfies. Okay, very good. Now, what I want you to do is show off that pitching arm. We've got some big fans over on the other side. Make some noise for Coco Vanderway. She's going to give you some signed tennis balls. Off the bounce. Nice catch. There's another tennis ball from Coco Vanderway. One more. Someone's going to get a rebound from Bob. Coco, have a great time Thank tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Coco's going to sign some autographs for the people. And somehow I ended up with Coco Vandewey's phone in my hand. That is a very dangerous. I'm not going to tweet for you, Coco. I would never do that. You can follow her at Coco Vandy. You guys are following us on Twitter, hashtag WTA Party. Are we having fun here tonight? Are we enjoying ourselves? Yes? Are we having fun? Yes! Are we having fun? Yes! All right, I, th I think we're having a bit of fun. There's going to be more WTA stars. And of course, you can follow, follow along the entire Wimbledon tournament on WTA's social network. Dominika Sobolkova, welcome. I love that, out of the car and onto the purple carpet. Yeah, yeah, that, that's cool. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? Um, I'm fine. I'm good. You know, I was practicing today twice, so I'm a little bit exhausted. But I was uh, really ready to do makeup and hair tonight. <laughs> ah, makeup. Me, me too. I was ready for that too, a little relaxation. Now tell me, you won the WTA Finals Singapore in October, the biggest title of your career. What did that do for your confidence coming into 2017? Because it was such a cool moment for you. Yeah, it was the biggest moment of my career so far. So it was, yeah, it was really, uh, really awesome. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to um, trying to do my best yeah. even this year because it's it's different and and I'm really enjoying the ride. Now tell me also, last Wimbledon you were making headlines because you got to the quarterfinals, but your wedding was days away. Now how does mar married life feel? What? Almost 12 months later. It feels great. It feels great, and we will. You know, I'm, I'm having this nostalgia. You know, I would love yes. to have it again because it was really beautiful, and we really enjoyed it. So, um, but we are not gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna take some break after Wimbledon, and we're gonna spend some nice days somewhere. Very cool, Dami. Will you stay right here? Stick around. Who's got a question for Dominika Sobolkova? Dami, come right here. Tell me what your question is for Dami. What's your What's your lucky number? Oh, your lucky number. It's number nine. Number? No explanation for that. It's just number nine. <laughs> it's just number nine. No explanation. Now, before, I want to get you an autograph in just a second. But before I let Dami go, and I know you've talked about this before, but tell everyone your special trick that you use your nose for. Uh, to smell the new balls. Yeah. The new balls, you know, when they... When they say new balls on the court, I am just go and I smell them. And I can recognize all the balls from the, all the tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> so if we were to put a Wimbledon ball in front of Dami Sabokova blindfolded, how would she do? Um, I did great. I did, did it last yeah, year. You did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they gave me four different tennis balls from the, from the, the four Grand Slams, and I did all four. That is a special talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my hidden talent. Will you sign some autographs for these young fans? Sure, yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead, Dami. Her lucky number is nine. She's a top 10 player right now off that WTA Finals title. And she's a married woman, almost a year now married. 2014 Australian Open runner-up. Great to see her back here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. It's just mayhem around here, but in a good way. We're waiting. 
Dasha Gavrilova, and I think, I think Bethany Maddox Sands is on the way. I see her husband, so I think that's a hint that she's on her way. She's close. Dasha, are you ready for the purple carpet? Yes. All right, come on over. Come here. Now, you've got to tell me, Dasha, welcome, first of all, to Wimbledon. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's really exciting. First time um, at this party, so I'm looking forward. Is it your first time? So tell me what you've heard from other players. Why, why are you excited about being at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party? Well, first of all, everyone is really enjoying to get dressed up and look nice and different from what we look like when we're just at the courts training. And uh, the venue is beautiful, so I had a, yeah, a lot of good comments. Now, for the first time in many years, Sam Stoser is not the number one Australian tennis player. That would be you. How does that feel right now in your career? At world number 21, congratulations. Um, yeah, it was um, pretty cool to hear that. Um, I looked at the rankings uh, like a week ago and I was the number one uh, in Australia. So yeah, I felt pretty privileged. All right, well Dasha, we obviously love having you here. Talk to me a little bit about your expectations for Wimbledon. How do you go into the tournament and what do you expect of yourself? Um, well, I'm having pretty good um, training weeks now and uh, played pretty good in Birmingham, so hopefully I will um, get a few wins and, uh, you know, I'm a seed, so hopefully I will, I'll win at least first round. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's my main goal because uh, um, at the French yes. Open I got heartbroken, right. lost first round, so uh, yeah. Hopefully I'll get through the first round. Let's do baby steps, right? First baby round steps. and then, yeah. now tell me about those earrings that you're wearing tonight, those are pretty cool. Yeah, they're Swarovski earrings, uh, I love them. Uh, I think it really goes with my outfit, well, hopefully. <laughs> Very, yes, absolutely it does. Now, my friend Jess here has a tennis ball for you to autograph, that's for you. Sharpie in hand, very cool. Now, oh, that, that was a quick autograph. Yeah. Okay, take that tennis ball. Daria, and one of these young tennis fans gets this tennis ball. You gotta pick who it is, and then will you sign some autographs? Um, yeah, I'll sign some autographs. Yeah. Go ahead, sure. All right, well, she's the world number one in doubles, and I want to welcome her to the purple carpet. Bethany Maddox Sands, you're in purple. How appropriate. I, was I knew it was a purple carpet. <laughs> purple is Wimbledon, purple is WTA, so I had to wear some purple. I obviously missed that memo tonight. Now you and Lucy Safarova are going for four majors in a row. We are. Uh, we are excited. We love playing on grass, but we've been having a blast. If you follow any, either of us on uh, Snapchat or Instagram, you see we're having fun all the time. But we're ready to go, feeling good. Can't wait to get this tournament started. Yes, very good. Now, I want to bring in a special guest of yours tonight. This is my date for the night. Oh, he's your date yeah, for the night. Date, okay, my, and who yeah. is he? Yes, yeah, so this is the one and only amazing Sean T. If you've ever done any of his workouts, you know that he will kill you. But... <laughs> you'll look fabulous and feel great. So he is probably my biggest motivator. Um, he sent me some encouraging messages all before every match I played at French Open. I'm hoping he'll do the same here at Wimbledon, but he's amazing and I really appreciate him in my life. Oh, look at that. We're getting sentimental <laughs> on the purple carpet. Now, Shanti also brought into your life the dance that you and Lucy did <laughs> at the Australian Open. Is that right, Sean? I did. They did very well. They were a little afraid, but I just told them to trust and believe in themselves <laughs> just like they do on a court. And if you do that, you can accomplish anything. Very good. Now, can we turn the music up just a little bit? Can we get a couple <laughs> dance? You, I know you have coordinated dance moves. Come on down. Yep. On the purple carpet, it's a dance party with Bethany Maddox Sands and Sean T. There we go. Bethany, you're off. That's okay. She'll save it for the tennis court. 
You know what? I we're, we're gonna have a new one coming out for one night because we we can't just repeat the same one. So Lucy and I are gonna get creative here with Sean. Okay. Oh, are you the are you the choreographer? Absolutely. We have very something very special planned for Team Boosie. <laughs> They're gonna be amazing. But do but do they have to? We're asking the Twitter world. Do they have to win the tournament to do the dance? They don't, no, they dance every day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just like everyone out here, you dance every day, you just don't have a beat. I can teach everyone in the crowd right now how to dance, I can promise you that. Do you guys you wanna look. try? Y'all wanna dance? All right. All right, so All right you, know, you know who wants to dance is this side right here. These okay. are my young dancers, you guys ready? All right, Sean. It's, it's very simple, okay, everyone here love tennis, right? You all love tennis? You gonna do this with me, Bethany? I'm ready, yeah. So everybody stand like you're about to serve the ball, right? And you're gonna take your hand back, and throw it forward, and take it back, throw it forward, take it back. Come on, give me that groove, give me that groove. Come on, Beth, come on. Stay on beat, see? It's, it's in six inch heels, it's easy, it's fun, everybody can dance, you just have a beat. You do it every day. I think I also just lost my job to Shanti as well with the microphone. You guys will have no fun inside, I'm sure of it. Zero fun, no, we're, uh, we're pretty serious as you can tell, but no, we, we have a blast no matter where we are, and even when you ask us if we only dance when we win, no, 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 no. Even in Australia, we were dancing from the beginning. We started to learn it, and it was kind of a surprise that we did it in the end in the finals, but we'll do it from the beginning. Very good, I like it. Dance from the beginning. Dance every day, right? Dance every day and dance for your life. Now, can you guys sign some autographs and take some selfies for your life over here? These young tennis fans, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Jess has got our selfie stick. Shanti and Bethany Maddox-Sands rocking some London dancing here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. Bethany Maddox-Sands and Shanti making their way down the purple carpet. I wish I knew how to have as much fun as Bethany has in life. You gotta teach me, Bethany. More WTA stars, we're wrapping up, but I guarantee you we've got a couple more stars you wanna stick around for. Who's going to Wimbledon in the next couple weeks? Anyone? Yes? Who's standing in the queue in the next couple weeks? Yes? Getting up at what time? Overnight? 5 a.m., you might get court one, maybe. We'll see. Well, we're seeing who's walking down the purple carpet all night. And come with me, you guys, come on. This is gonna be a special moment. It's already a special moment. Naomi Brody showing up here tonight, taking a look, hanging out with a future, future tennis star, I think. Now, Naomi, 
I think we might have to do, can you kneel? I can kneel. No? Okay, you're going to stay standing. Our cameraman's good. All right, so Jessica Terry is one of a uh, up-and-coming British tennis player, aren't you, Jessica? And you are part of the Elena Baltacha Foundation. You were picked because of your attitude and your tennis playing. Now tell me how long you've been playing tennis for. About two years. Two years, and have you ever met Naomi Brody before? No. No, so how was that? <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. Now, um, Naomi, tell me a little bit about, because Jessica's part of, of the Elena Baltacha Foundation and the work that they do, but tell me about what they've done for tennis in this country, and I'm gonna just let you ha have the microphone here. <laughs> Um, Nino's done a fantastic job keeping the legacy of Baltasha going. She was a great friend to many of the players here tonight. And um, it was Bali's dream to make tennis available to everybody, and that's exactly what they're doing. And it's a fantastic organization, and um, it enables players like Jessica to come down here and meet a lot of the tennis players, and hopefully she'll be playing against us in the future. Very well said. Now, Jessica, I want to reach this. You've successfully achieved number one status in your country and is looking to continue to rise in the British ranks. You are also the 2015 Yonix Player of the Year from the Baltacha Foundation. Round of applause, come on, for little Jessica. Yes, and you received the special award presenting your commitment to tournaments and competing. High five, awesome. Naomi Brody, high five, too. Now, I want you guys to make your way down the purple carpet, but before you do that, will you give Jessica just a couple words of encouragement? And we've also got these young tennis fans and a few older tennis fans and tennis fans out there. Just talk about your career and how you want to inspire other people. Um, I think tennis is often seen in England as still being an upper class sport and um, I think what I'd like to show people is that if you just work really hard it doesn't matter what background that you come from. Um, if you, you work hard you create your own luck and you create your own opportunities and obviously some people are born into places that give them more opportunities but um, no matter if we just keep on working really really hard and um, alongside great foundations like the Elena Baltasha um, giving everybody lots of opportunities and um, yeah, my only tip is just to work as hard as you can. Very good tip. Now, I want you guys to head over there, Jessica. Let's get a selfie with Naomi. I think Naomi's got long arms for a selfie. And let's go crowd around with these fan zone kids. Here's the selfie stick. Jessica, get in there. Naomi, very good. Naomi Brody, obviously one of the best tennis players in Britain. A great one-handed backhand, a huge serve. That's recipe for success at Wimbledon. And this is kind of a, a chance of a lifetime for Jessica Terry to walk down the purple carpet with Naomi. Jessica, you should be signing autographs too. They want your autograph. Yeah, who wants, oh, you want Jessica's autograph? Get her, come on, go, go, go. Yeah, there we go, there we go, awesome.
Well, that's been our special night of tennis here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. We hope you all enjoyed it out there in the Twitter sphere watching live on the WTA account. Of course, if you want to see anything from the WTA party, just use hashtag WTA party on any social media platform. And of course, you guys don't forget to follow along on the WTA social media platforms. Wimbledon, it's here, it's upon us. I'm going to go upstairs and enjoy myself. It was a great purple carpet here at the WTA pre-Wimbledon party. See you guys later.